Hi, I'm Carla with Carla Dreyer Design, e-decor expert, and this is Decor with Love TV. So one of the top questions I get and one of the most confusing things I think for homeowners, I'm sure you can relate, is what color to paint. So I'm gonna give you my top tips on choosing the right paint color this time. And make sure to stay tuned to the end because I have something really special to give away. So when you're choosing your paint color, I think people kind of go and look at a paint deck or go into a paint store and they think, well, I like blues or I like grays or I want whites and really don't consider what is in their house. So the first thing I say is you've got to look at is the hard finishes. So something like flooring. You gotta look at your flooring. Do you have a light floor? Do you have a medium floor? Do you have a dark floor? What material is it? You really have to consider this when choosing your paint color. So tip number one, look at your flooring. Tip number two when choosing a paint color is if you are decorating or redecorating a room, choose the paint color last and this goes against what everyone thinks. They buy a home or they wanna redo their home and they wanna paint, which I understand it just feels fresh and exciting to get a new color, but really then you are choosing these higher price items like your couches or bed or whatever it may be, rug around the paint color. So a designer tip is actually to get the designed project done first and then choose a paint color that works within the things that you've chosen and that you love. So pick your paint color last. Tip number three is look at your kitchen finishes. And this kind of goes to the same as what I was saying in tip number one about your floor. You really have to consider the hard finishes of your home. So as an example, I lived in a home previous to this home that was all brown, brown everything. And I'm not really particularly a brown person and I wanted to go contemporary and grays and all these great things, which sound lovely, but they would not have gone with the brown. So with open concepts too, the reason I say to look at your kitchen is you really wanna look at what color the cupboards are, what color the countertops are, what color the backsplash is. And as much as you may love, say, a certain gray, if you've got all browns, doesn't mean you can't have a gray, but you have to pick the right gray to go with those finishes. Tip number four, and I think this is when I and myself miss a lot and people miss a lot, is how you want to feel in the space. And not to sound all corny about it, but color does make a direct effect on how you feel. So that's why back in the day, and it's becoming popular again, a lot of dining rooms were red because people wanted to entertain and feel energized. And a lot of bedrooms are blue because people wanna feel soothing and relaxed. So think about the environment you're in. If it's your kid's room, maybe it is a brighter color. Uh, if it's your bedroom, do you want it to be soft and relaxing? If it's a family room, how do you wanna feel in there? If it's a basement games room, again, color makes a big difference. So really think about what you're using the room for and how you wanna feel in that room and it'll help with your color choice. So tip number five is all paints, paint colors have an undertone to them. So every color really has an undertone to them. But what I find often is people say, well, I want a gray, it's gray's very popular still, or I want a white, I love whites, uh, or I want a beige. But again, within all of these categories, there are hundreds, if not thousands to choose from, and they have an undertone to them. So what that means is that some of the grays, say, may have a blue undertone to them. Some of the beiges, a lot of times, have a pink undertone to them. Um, so you really wanna be careful when choosing the color to know what the undertone is. If you can't see it directly, if you ask your paint specialist, they'll probably know. So tip number six is please test it out. Don't look at a tiny little paint chip and say, that's the color, I love it, and paint your whole house in it, and then hate it and never change it. Because as easy as it is to say, well, you can just paint over things, People don't do that very often because it is kind of a pain in the butt. So what you wanna do is go to the paint store, you can get a small little tin, I think it costs about $8, and you wanna test it, and test it in different places of the house. So if you're gonna do one color throughout your main floor or in your living room or family room, test it out on different spots of the wall, and then go back and look at it at different parts of the day because in morning, till noon, till night, it will look different in different sunlight. And my last tip, and this is actually a bit of a personal preference, so what I'm gonna throw it out there is don't add too much contrast. Um, you can do a focal point wall. I love wallpaper, but I think that if you wanna create harmony and want an 
easier way of decorating and having your other finishes and, and pieces work within your room, um, I always suggest kind of go with one color in the main open area. And then you can how to have fun with things in your bathroom. You can have fun in your, you know, the bedrooms, uh, games room, basement, things like that. But for an open floor plan, I really like the idea of one color. At the beginning of this video, I told you I had something special to give away, and I do. I think that pink color can really stress a lot of people out, and I also think it makes a huge difference in how you feel, uh, the space that you create, and the other things you put into your home. So I really wanna help you out, and I know I can't go and do a pink consultation in everybody's house, but what I can do is break it up into categories of what my favorite pink colors are, give you what those undertones are, and at least give you a starting point that you can take to the paint store and start testing some colors out. So I'll link to that freebie below. So I hope you found this video helpful if you are thinking of repainting now or even in the future. If you do like this video, please like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel as I do produce videos weekly and I'd love it if you'd share it with your family and friends. Also, if you're looking for more decor inspiration that I only share over email, hop on over to carladreardesign.com and sign up for my weekly newsletter. We'll see you there.